My family really liked to listen to audiobooks, so I wanted to find a way that I could have Audible on a dashboard in Home Assistant so my family could easily consume audiobooks at the touch of a button. If that's something of interest to you, then stick around and watch the video. Thanks for watching. So the problem I had originally was on the one hand, I'm telling my family to use Home Assistant dashboard for everything that they control in the house. And then on the other hand, they've got the Sonos app with Audible integration for listening to their audio books and various other things. So I wanted to bring these two things together to give them one place where they can control everything. So in this video, I'm starting to make use of the Sonos card, which we can install through the Hacks add-on. If you don't have hacks, then watch my video on how to do that, which I'll put in the link below or hopefully up at the top of the screen so you can navigate to that. And by the end of this video, we'll have uh, full integration with Sonos and Audible working together within a Home Assistant dashboard. So hopefully making things a lot easier for you and your family consume, to consume Audible books or anything else that you've got set as favourites, such as radio stations or other types of music, easily consumable within a Home Assistant dashboard. Hopefully that will be as used to everybody. Um, watch the video and enjoy. Thanks. Bye. So the first thing you're going to want to make sure you've got is the Sonos integration installed. I've got mine already in place and I would expect if you've got Sonos speakers uh, in place when you installed your home assistant, then it would have detected those anyway. But if not, you can go into integrations, add integration and select Sonos from the list. As I said, I've already got mine. If you didn't have it in place already and you went through that process, it would go off and discover the Sonos speakers on your network, as I'm showing here, and you'd be able to start to consume those within Home Assistant as media device players, but also for this Sonos card that we're going to install next. Let's go through then and get the uh, Sonos card added. It's a Hacks add-on. If you haven't got Hacks installed, then um, watch my Hacks integration video, which I'll link above and in the description below. So you can go into Hacks, you can search for the Sonos card, uh, click download and download again, and the installation will take place. I need to reload Home Assistant and it should be now available as a card to consume in your dashboards. Let's go through then and add the Sonos card to uh, my son's bedroom. He's got a Sonos Play 1, I think it is, in his room. So we'll go into the entertainment section on his dashboard. We can al already see this kind of uh, out-of-the-box media player there, so he can stop and start. But he can't consume the Audible favourites that I've got set up. So we're going to go through, add the Sonos card, and he'll be able to have a lot more flexibility with what he's listening to. So there it is, we'll select the card, add it. Uh, I'm not gonna go through all of these settings, but what you'll find is the card is very configurable, so you can lock it down as much as you like. You can give the card a name if you want, and you can change the way the buttons um, are displayed. Um, so it's worth having a go look through that just to see how you want the card to be displayed on your dashboard. So you can see there I've given um, given the card a title um, and I'm just messing around with some of the buttons there so you can get a feel for the types of things that you can change. And across the bottom where you've got the home, the star, the devices, you can kind of remove all those buttons if you wish, but I've kind of left it in a out of the box state. You can even have your own um, wallpaper on the card itself. So what you'll need to do is add the entity and what they mean here is which speaker do you want to um, use as the player. So my son's bedroom has got a device in it called Kids Room Sonos. So that's the room that's going to be used to play the audiobooks and um, anything else from Audible that he wants to listen to. So that's the card added, and at this point it can be used and consumed. 
Let's have a look at the Sonos app then on my mobile phone. So as you can see, I've got various services set up. So I've got the Audible service and these are all the Audible books that I've got available to listen to. Um, so if I click on manage, you can see where I've added Audible and you probably got all this set up already, but I just want to give you a feel for how I've got mine available. So I can listen to the radio, I can listen to Spotify and I can listen to Audible. And then the way that I'm kind of exposing, um, what I want to be available on the Sonos card in Home Assistant is by using the favorites capability within the Sonos app. So if I find something that I want to listen to um, and or the kids want to listen to on a regular basis, then I'll select that in the Sonos app, make it one of the favorites, and then it'll become one of the favorites that's exposed in the Sonos card in Home Assistant. And I'll show you that shortly. So the last section I wanted to show you was how the favorites are exposed in the Sonos card in Home Assistant. So the star icon at the bottom there shows you all the favorites. As you can see, I've just had it added that book uh, to favorites and it's now been exposed as a book that can be listened to. So I can click on that and start playing and listening to that book or the kids can. Honestly, I don't I don't listen to Horrid Henry. Not that much anyway. So as well as um, the favorites icon that we've just gone through there, the star, there's also the browse media capability. So you can go into there, select Sonos favorites and choose the book that you want to listen to from there or any other favorites that you've got set up. So here, for example, I can select a radio station that I want to listen to, select play on that and it will become, uh, it will start playing on that um, Sonos device that I have selected. Thanks for watching the video all the way to the end. First thing I'd like to do is thank the author of the Sonos card. Um, really good job, thank you very much. I'll make, make sure I'll be buying him a coffee for that. Uh, it's made my life so much easier and my family's life so much easier being able to have that Sonos card within my Home Assistant dashboard to be able to consume those audiobooks rather than having to flip between the Sonos app and uh, home assistant for doing different things uh, if you enjoyed the video and you found it useful then please like and subscribe there's only about six percent of the people that watch the videos that are subscribed so if you do like if you do like the video then give it a like and uh, encourages me to do more videos if you've got any ideas for any other videos that you'd like to see then please leave a comment below and i'll see what i can do about that thank you for watching hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you in the next one bye for now